Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we're going to be going over is how to create a custom shaped progress bar or custom shaped UI. So if I were to hit play what you can see on screen now is on the left we have our default progress bar and on the right we have our custom shaped progress bar which we're going to be creating today. So if I had to press 1, our health will go up. If I had to press 2, it's going to go down. And you'll see the functionality works the exact same way for both of these progress bars. Just obviously one of them looks a lot nicer than the other one. So again, this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So this is actually incredibly easy to do. So what we want to do first is we obviously want to have the custom shape which we're using. So what I've done is in Photoshop, I've just created this heart here which what you notice is I have two different variations. So I have a filled in version, which is red, and then another version, which is gray. Red being full, gray being empty. You don't have to have two different versions like that. I just like to do that because it makes it look a lot nicer. And once you've got those created, we're gonna to want to import those into our, into our project. So I'm just gonna open up my content browser with control space, and then I'm simply gonna drag and drop these images into here like so. Mine are PNGs, so they have a transparent background as well. And you'll notice we now have these here like so. I can open them up and we have this here. Again, a much nicer looking health progress bar. Let's save these and close them like so. What we're gonna do now is open up our user interface. So for me, that's just a health widget here. And you'll notice in here, I've already got some stuff set up. So I've got my default progress bar and this already has the binding on here for setting up the health. So if you want to know how to set up a proper health progress bar and a health bar in your game, I do have a video where I go over how to do that, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below and on screen now. I'm not going over that today in this video. Today is simply just the look of the progress bar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in a progress bar into my canvas panel, and then I'm gonna move this over to where I want it. Once I have it in here, what I'm gonna do is scroll down until we find the style. So actually just scroll up for me. So I have style here and I'm going to open up style and open up the background image. In the background image here, that is obviously going to be the image which I created for the background. So if I were to open up this and search for health or heart, sorry, I've got heart empty. That's the background. So it's the empty version. And you'll notice the image size is 164 by 152. So I'm going to set the size of my progress bar to be one. 64 by 152 and that now looks perfect like so obviously it doesn't have to be the same size but if you do keep the same size or at least proportionate to the same size it's going to look perfect for you then i'm going to scroll down and then change the fill image to do the same thing so heart fill like so now you notice this just is only showing the empty version if we scroll down even further we can increase the percent here and notice this is now filling up However, it doesn't look perfect, so it's all black, and that little white streak there is blue. The reason being for that is if we scroll down, the fill color opacity is by default blue. We want to just set that to be white. If you set it to white, that is then going to use the colors you've already inputted onto your image. For example, I've got the red and gray here, like so. So this is now our custom shape progress bar. It's that simple to set it up. And obviously, I'm also just gonna go in the percent, bind and use my get percent bind here so it's actually going to use my health but again it is that simple to use a custom shape for your ui and for your progress bar we've turned it from this basic boring looking rectangle into this nice lovely shaped heart which is also easier to just signify this is health so obviously the red is a good indicator but what you might need to do is write health above this one so you do definitely know whereas this you do know this is for health as it is a heart so if we compile save that minimize and hit play what we can see is we've now again got our progress bar up in the top left and top right one looking a lot nicer than the other pressing one will increase my health and two will decrease it again this works perfectly for both of them the functionality is the exact same you'll notice the percent is filled the same way for both of these and again this just looks a lot nicer so we have a custom shape box here now if yours is a different shape to mine, so you might be doing something completely different and you want the progress bar to fill it from a different direction, that's very easy to do as well. If you select it again and scroll back down to the progress here, you can just change bar fill type from left to right to whatever you want. So maybe fill from center or top to bottom, bottom to top, whatever it is, you can just set this up however you like. But for me, I think left to right makes sense though. 
But again, maybe fill from center might be what you wanted instead. So something along these lines, but again, for me, I think left to right is gonna look the best. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we have to do. What we've done is we've just set up this custom shaped UI progress bar just to make it look a lot nicer, just that extra little detail in your game, which can really bring it to the next level. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like, subscribe down below as it really does help me in the channel a lot. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.